So welcome to EuroPCR 2022. My name is Mohamed Abdel Wahab. I'm an interventional cardiologist from Leipzig, Germany. And during this short interview, we'll learn more about interventional strategies for closing large bore arteriotomies, particularly during transfemoral TAVI. And we will focus on the recently published choice closure trial. So why did we do the choice closure trial? So um, there are basically two approaches for closing large bore arteriotomies. One approach is based on sutures, um, which is uh, largely um, based on the proglide device. And one approach is based on a plug. And the most commonly used uh, device um, is the Manta device. And before doing this trial, the majority of data we had were based on observational registry data, and they were more or less controversial. In some studies, uh, one strategy was performing better. In other studies, um, there were more or less equivalents. Um, so the design of the choice closure trial, as you can see on the slide, we included more or less an all-comer uh, population undergoing transfemoral uh, TAVR. Um, and these patients were randomized in a one-to-one -one fashion uh, between the two strategies we just mentioned. One strategy is primary based on sutures, primary based on the proglide device. And the other strategy is purely based on a plug, which is the Manta device. The study had a primary endpoint defined according to the WARC2 definition, which is access site or access related vascular complications. And our aim was really to compare the uh, performance of both strategies in more or less an all comers population undergoing transfemoral time. So let's dig a little bit into what this trial has shown. And you can see on this slide that there are some important and um, interesting aspects of the vascular closure technique that are different between the two, the two strategies. You can add additional devices only with the proglide technique. On the other hand, you have more rapid hemostasis, a shorter time to hemostasis with the Manta-based technique, but closure device failure is low and comparable. When it comes to the primary endpoint, the primary endpoint occurred more commonly with the Manta-based technique, and this was statistically significant, so 19.4% versus 12.0%, showing superiority of the proglide-based technique. Um, the majority of events were minor ones, but nevertheless, the totality of events were more common with the uh, Manta-based technique. And importantly, as you can see on this slide, access site pseudoaneurysms and significant hematomas were significantly more common with the Manta-based technique. This slide shows some important secondary endpoints, and you can see here that mortality was low and comparable between both devices, but there's one important secondary endpoint, which is a combination of vascular complications, bleeding, and or vascular closure device failure related to the access site. This was, again, significantly more common in the Manta-based group. So what did we learn from the study? We learned that a primary suture-based closure technique using proglide is associated with significantly lower rates of access site or access-related vascular complications compared to a pure plug-based technique using Manta in an all-comers population treated with transfemoral TAVR, albeit with a little bit longer time to hemostasis. We also learned that severe complications up to 30 days were infrequent with both strategies, with low and comparable mortality and life-threatening or disabling bleeding events between both device techniques. So did this study actually change our practice? So we are st still having both devices on our shelves, but our primary closure strategy is based on the suture-based proglide technique and more or less the plug-based device is being used in very selected patients and in bailout situations. So thank you for joining this interview, and we really hope that the study outcomes on arterial large bore closure with suture-based versus plug-based closure devices were insightful.